honestly, I'm, I'm surprised I kind of got where I am today just from how not serious I took it when I, I was a kid. I mean, yeah, I took it serious when I was at the races and it was, it was time to go, but coming up to it, I mean, I, I did what I could uh, and trained here and there, but uh, not near as what the kids are now and what it takes to, to get into the level of pros. I mean, I did, I did all kinds of things. I mean, I, I'd ride maybe twice a week, and if I did ride, it probably wasn't a track. It was probably just going to be some trails or, or riding some sand wash in the riverbed. I just, uh, I had fun. I really wanted to ride Honda. That was always like my thing. I wanted to ride Hondas, and uh, Honda gave me a, a pretty good offer, and I could not refuse it. So it was a good deal, and um, signed with them. Ended up getting hurt, lost my thumb. You know, weeks in the hospital and blood transfusions and surgeries, and ended up uh, with this. So it was tough. I mean, 12 years old and losing your thumb is just uh, it was tough, and. Um, you know, some some things you just like, I don't know, you think about like, oh, you can never do anything again. But something like that happens, you're just like, this is the cards I'm dealt with, you know, and just kind of have to deal with it. So that's that. And then I um, had a long string of injuries after the, after the thumb. I had a broken femur and a bunch of different things happened. And it just slowly just kept going and kept bringing it back. And um, I don't know, for some reason, I had... I did not want to quit. <laughs> Looking back at it now, I'm like, why didn't I? But you know, I'm glad I didn't, and it's uh, it's it's been all worth it. So it's it's been a good ride. For me, I wish I had somebody that was there all the time, somebody that like coached me into it, somebody that I know had some preparation coming into it. It was pretty uh, sudden and abrupt for me to turn pro. It was, you know, I was on the TLD amateur team, and then um, a couple other riders got hurt. So all of a sudden, I got a call up and was like, "Hey, <laughs> you need to be ready and ready for Hangtown in a week." And I'm and I'm thinking, uh, "All right." So um, I turned 18 on that Sunday. Following Saturday, I raced uh, Hangtown for the week, week ready. Yeah, I mean, it's it wasn't really ideal what most people want as their first pro race, you know, kind of coming in just so unprepared for myself. But the team was ready; everybody was ready to go for the team. So, I mean, that was a dream come true. I mean, a lot of people would have, wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, they'd be stoked to have a ride. I mean, I was grateful, and I was, if they needed me, I was there. So, um, just kind of took it with what I got. And, here I am today. You know, I had some other podiums this year and then some bad races too, but I mean, that's part of it and it's racing. I mean, I look at, I look at Martin and and Musman and, and those guys and how they had such a solid season it's like holy crap like, I want to be there like bad like that's that's a good feeling knowing every weekend that you're going to be on the box and, and I mean I always thought I would be but I mean some weekends just don't go as planned so um, that's just part of it but I, I want to be that guy that's consistent solid and I think this next year coming into Supercross and outdoors is going to be really good and, I mean we got a new program going and we got new stuff in the works and um, I think you guys will see a different side of me.